guys, Dr. Dex here. Uh, we're getting this upper deck buttoned up. It's a knotwood aluminum waterproof plank. And we're putting in this Regal Ideas Crystal Rail railing. And we're just finishing up putting on the top brackets. There's a bracket that goes right here that kind of holds the glass together. And Phil's working on that right now. You can kind of see over here what it looks like. And once those are all in place, he'll go through an epoxy He'll go through and epoxy all those in so that they uh, have a nice firm grip on the glass. So after that, we have staircase railing to do. That's kind of what I'm laying out and working on. And then fascia and some underside trim. So that's what ne what's next is our staircase railing. So the universal angle clips, they help hold the glass together in between the sections and make the unit more like one piece versus each individual section of glass. And then we actually tighten them up on the bottom so they become rigid. So it helps keep the rail system a little more rigid than it would if you didn't have them. After 129 years at your local neighborhood drugstore, we have a... One thing about waterproof decks is you add a lot of extra silicone anytime you puncture your seal just to make sure water doesn't get in. Kind of an important step. The railing is, uh, the picket railing that we're doing is going along this landing down this side of the stairs, onto that little landing, and then down one other stair level. And then we have a custom piece of railing to put in over here as well, so people can't fall through this way. But that one's gonna take a minute. I haven't quite figured it out yet. So I'm just waiting. I'm gonna try to get this side laid out first and then worry about this side. Before I, uh, before the silicone dries or, or sets up on these two posts, I need to get the top rail cut because um, if I don't, I'm gonna have to loosen one of the posts to get the top rail in. And if these are completely latched down, uh, it'll break the bead of the silicone. So I'm gonna stop what I'm doing and cut in this top and bottom rail so that I can get those in I don't have to install them, I just need to get them, this top rail in before I continue, before the silicone sets. I guess I didn't have to loosen them up after all. So, now that I got my top section set, I need to figure out where my bottom post needs to go. Once I figure that out, then I can figure out where my middle post goes, and then we can start hanging the rails. Okay, so we're working on somebody else's work. So their border that they put in is way out of level. So if we put our post, hold on one second, I'll be right back. So if we put our post on their on their uh, <laughs> on their border as is, it's a little out. It's a little bit, just a little bit out of level. Um, there's level, and that's in eight inches. So it's got to come up quite a bit. So instead of trying to shim the bottom of the post, I'm going to shim this up first. This board into level first. See how bad it is. So it needs to come up to there. So that's what I'm doing right now. A little prep work. There's a couple different ways you can do it. New to Instagram. Don't know how to do stories. Okay, so to get to, you go to your homepage. 
making some shims to put under the post to level them out. So instead of using, sometimes big shims don't work so good. Um, so we like to make our own. <coughs> That's gonna ruin some shots. What's the deal? Uh, the old the old post was right here, and it's kind of funky. So we're going to end up moving it out to the outside of the stair, and I have to use a fascia mount over here to stay in line with this post. And I was just trying to see how it was all going to lay out and if I have the right offset, which is a complete guess right now. So I guess I need to cut this, cut this back so I can figure that out. I don't know if that's... So the issue is this stair is not in parallel with this landing. So I just love um, when I have to take other people's work apart and redo it, it's great. Um, so this fascia board has to come off and I have to thin it out or something to get this bracket to go in so it's in a parallel line with the rest of the rail. Or if not, then when you come down the staircase, it'll be all wonky, John, jonky, janky, all funky, Cole Medina. I made a little jig uh, just to mark, instead of trying to take a tape measure and mark a half inch out from the end of the bracket, which is kind of a, pa a pain. Um, I went ahead and just cut a half inch piece of material so I could easily make my marks. And what are these for? These are called a universal angle bracket, and they're designed to either swivel this way or swivel this way, depending on if you need them for an angle on a deck or angle on stairs. And this time I'm using it for an angle on a deck. We, we like to upgrade our connection a little bit. So we put in um, a little 3 16 inch bolt and a, um, and a lock washer or a nylock, which I don't have. Huh, they're probably upstairs in the trailer. And um, those come in nice and handy uh, for just a, a really great connection and solid. Uh, there's, they come with screws in the pack, and, and those are fine for most, but uh, I like to actually do a through bolt. So that's what we're doing is putting in through bolts. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking the universal angle bracket. I got my hole drilled for my bolt. So now these need to be mounted to the post. So, uh, cause I have this 45 degree angle and that's why it's called a universal angle bracket. Cause it'll uh, basically turn to any angle I need it to. So my bottom plate needs to be an inch and five eighths off the base plate of the post. So there's an inch and five. That'll go there. And then I'll install that with a couple of black screws. to finish it off. They're self-tapping, so I don't have to pre-drill the holes. And you don't want to hammer those, because you can strip your screws out if you do. So always slow down before you finish. There you go. So then you want to put your next bracket, 29 and a half, in between the brackets like that and then that'll put you in line with the top rail going around here i got my side to side but i'm gonna need some up and down brackets um i need one set two sets three sets Okay, so Regal Ideas, Crystal Rail, wiring information. Um, so you have a transformer that you plug into just a regular outlet, and then on the other end it has a connection, 
and has the RF transformer on it, and then that's your transformer unit. And then what we start doing is we hook up these things called T-splitters. What they are is they're a cable that you hook on this end, it comes up, and I don't know how well you can see this, but it has this small wire right here. This is what actually runs to the LED into the pod. So there's two of them. There's one real close to where the connection is, and then we follow it over, and then the other one's over here. And that one T will run two pods, which is one piece of glass. So you need one T for every piece of glass that you have. Um, and then depending on the spacing, sometimes more if, the, uh, if it won't make it within the run of the wire. But yeah, that's, that's basically it. And then we staple it all up, trying to keep it looking uh, as neat as possible and keep everything out of the way of where any fasteners might be going. That way we don't hit any wires. For the transformer, we have the RF uh, controller right here, and you get a little remote, and some uh, decks we have to run more pieces of glass than what one transformer can run. So you end up with two transformers, and then you can program the one um, remote to hook up to both transformers, so you can run both sets of lights with one remote. What's happening right here? Um, I've, got, I've got one board that's a little higher than the other one, so I'm um, shaving some of the elevation out of this board right here so that it's the same height so I don't have to shim as much. So how is this gonna work? Like are you putting are you putting these things on the side up or yeah okay so I have to figure out the top and bottom rails for my two mounted posts that are already. And then I have to come up with an intermediate post. And the staircase, we have to do a fascia mount. So it's gonna get mounted to the staircase like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the base off of this one post and slide it onto this. And then this becomes a, a fascia mount post instead of a surface mount post. So right now I'm just trying to get my brackets set for the side so I can figure out the top and the bottom and then I can figure out where the middle goes from there. We should only need one center side post for this run because it's a little over 12 feet. So um, we'll have like a six and a half foot run of railing in between posts. So it's just a fascia. Do we need the bottom one too? Oh, 166 you and a half. Half of 166 and a half is. Well, divide 66 and a half. What is that? 32? 33? So it'd be 83. I have no idea what's going on right now. Yeah, join the club. <laughs> um. Wondering, he's building the step rail. I'm building a deck. No, so, part of the deck is actually the rail. Yep, close enough. Is it tight? What's going on? We're putting this splice together. For keep, what? For this top rail. I'll just keep it tight on the bottom. We're putting a splice together for the top rail and we've never done it before, so it's a little bit of a learning process. Grab the screwdriver too. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So now what we gotta do is we gotta figure out the height of the center post where we were to mount it. Right. Okay. Okay, so we need to snap this into thank you. Honey boy. Okay. And then I see, and that's where the eyeball came in from. Straightness. Yes. So smart. Whoa, slow down. Go, just tap it in. Okay. Do you want to let us all know what's happening? I'm trying to figure out where the next fascia mount bracket goes. But I just realized I'm short of fascia mount bracket, I think, unless I don't use one over here. 
All right, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks. All right, th all right, guys. Take thanks. Two. That doesn't help, Phil. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you following us along while we install this Regal Ideas railing. Right now, we're trying to button up the picket railing for the stairs, which is a little bit more time consuming. And then we're going to try to uh, maybe on Monday get this section started over here, which is going to be really funky because it's going to be diving up into the underside of the deck. So. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified every time we're putting out new content, also tick the bell icon. Thank you very much. Have a great day.